Okay, so in this tutorial, I'll be showing you guys how the arpeggiator works. So let's open our browsers here, go under MIDI effects and drag in on our arpeggiator. So the arpeggiator basically, if you know any music theory, I'll just turn it off for now. Um, an arpeggiator basically means if I press four chords, uh, four notes, like a chord, I'm pressing them all down together. An arpeggiator basically means I press them in a sequence. So it can be uh, going up or it can be going down or it can be converging like this, um, etc. So different um, ways to play an arpeggiator. So um, just for the sake of simplicity, um, I don't want to be pressing four um, notes all the time. So I'm just gonna create a chord here and do plus one, plus two, and plus three. Um, and if you remember from the previous tutorials, that will create a row. So let's just uh, minimize that. And uh, so now when I press it, I'll always be sending four notes into the arpeggiator. So now if I turn it on, uh, this is what's gonna happen. It will start arpeggiating and it's already got some default settings. So the first thing to note is style. So right now it's going up. As I said before, up is basically doing this, right? Um, this this um, doesn't have an arpeggiator, so I can show you here. Um, if I go down, uh, it will start from here and go, start going down. So we'll be doing it like this, okay? And then you've got loads of different other settings. I recommend only using up, down, and then up and down, and down and up. So not up, down, but with the and symbol. And that's important because if you have a look here, it just goes up and then down. But instead, if you do up and down, it means that it will play the end notes twice. And that's important for, for the further on, you'll see um, it will avoid certain glitches. So um, basically, I, I, I've only used these two effects, up, up, down, and then up and down, and down and up. And that's what I've used in all of my tutorials. So I'll just set it to up again. And... Um, Oops, that's done. Oh, for God's sake. You can also use the arrows key, arrow keys to do it quicker. Um, okay, so the offset basically is kind of silly. It's kind of like the pitch. Um, if I do plus one, instead of starting from here, it will start from here. If I do minus one, it will start from here. And if I just set it back to zero, it will start from here. So it's kind of like the phase, if you know any um, um, sound design theory or whatever. Um, Groove basically gives it a more human touch um, and hold basically means I press it once and it will just keep on going. So it kind of holds that um, forever. Uh, here's the thing, sync, um, if you have a look here, uh, the velocity of it, uh, like the speed, um, I shouldn't say velocity, <laughs> otherwise we'll get confused maybe with colors. The speed of it, it's kind of, um, if I change the speed, you can see it, it kind of jumps around a lot, right? So you can't really get anything smooth. So what I do is I always use free mode, kind of like for the note length, and then you can work with milliseconds, and then you can have something like 500 or so every half a second, or you can have 100. Or you can have something ridiculous like this, which is so fast that the launch pad can't even cope. Um, so I'll put it back to, let's do 250. Um, and so there are different ways you can arpeggiate. it. So if you have a look here, you can do it like this. Or you can do it like this. So kind of like holding the notes down more or less. And the gate is exactly that. So if you have a look here, here they're kind of flashing like that. If I add, if I turn the gate up to 100%, it basically means um, that whenever, whenever this note, this first note turns off, this one will turn on. So it basically goes one note at a time. If I do 200%, it means two notes at, at a time. So you can see. Um, that's what happens. Then I, I'm not really sure about retrig. I've never really used it. Um, the repeats are kind of important because um, sometimes you kind of, say for example, you want it to just go up and down and once. So I press and it goes up and down. So um, right now you can see it goes up and down and it keeps on going up and down. But I want it to just go up and then return to where it started and stop. So I just put the repeats to one, which means it will, will only play once and then it just goes up, down, and ends. Or I can do it twice, and it goes up, down, up, and then down, and then ends. And so that's that. I'll put it back up and infinite. And then last thing is steps. So basically, steps and distance, the way it works is it's kind of like a chord. So if I turn this chord off for now, and I say distance one, 
uh, well, steps. Zero, it means there aren't any steps yet, so it still just arpeggiates this. I'll put the gate back to 50. So it just turns this on. If I put one step, it means that it will add plus one once. If I do it twice, it means it will add plus one twice, so it'll do plus one and plus two. So three times it will do plus one, plus two, and plus three. So kind of see the gist. And I could also do like distance plus four, so it goes vertically, because you know, um, plus one, plus two, plus three, and plus four. So then it goes like that. Or I could do minus four. And so that's basically how it works. And um, last thing, I already talked about this, but um, now that you understand better how the arpeggiator works, um, it's important that you know it. So if I press this note, I'm sending this note into a chord, so the chord will output four notes. If I output a chord of four notes into an arpeggiator, it means that these four notes will be arpeggiated. So like this. Oh, and I should get rid of the steps and distance. So uh, let me start again. I press one down, make a chord out of it, and then send that chord of four notes into the arpeggiator, which will arpeggiate them. So this is what we get, okay? However, if I put, um, if I change the, um, the order and have one note going into an arpeggiator which makes it flash and have that flashing note going into a chord It's not going to arpeggiate four notes anymore. It's going to make a chord of a flashing note So it's going to add a row that's flashing. So I hope now that's more clear of how it works um, If it's not um, try and leave a question um, a specific question of what you're understanding so any questions at all leave a comment below and uh, yeah, I hope this was useful and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.